Why hello here! So in RPG Maker MV and MZ, we have a full frame walk animation for our characters by default. In this video, we'll be converting this full frame animation into 8 frames without drawing or doing any sort of pixel art. Now I'm using game character hub here, though you can use any photo editing software of your choice. The important part is the technique. As long as you understand that, you can do this in pretty much any software. And during this short tutorial, I'll be re referring to the default animation in three parts. The middle sprite, the left sprite, and the right sprite. Got it? Just calling them by the position in the columns. I'm going to refer to this middle column as the middle sprite. The left column as the left sprite, and the right column as the right sprite. Now, I'm going to copy this default walking sprite and paste them on this 8 frame template I have set up here. We start by copying the middle sprite to the very first column. Then we copy the left sprite to its left and the right sprite to its right. Now let's select the first left sprite and first right sprite. I'm counting from left to right. So we select the first left sprite and the first right sprite. And we push these up by two pixels. That's it. Let me undo and redo this for you so you get a clear idea of what's going on here. Undo, redo. Undo, redo, undo, redo. We're just pushing these up by two pixels. Now let's select the third left sprite and move it up by one pixel and right by one pixel. Then we select the third sprite, move it up by one pixel and move left by one pixel. And that's it. We're done. As you can see, the walking animation is looking much smoother now. I'm going to repeat this exact process with another 4 frame sprite. Copy paste the default sprite, start with copying the middle sprite to the first column, then copy the left sprite to its left, copy the right sprite to its right, select the first sprite and the first right sprite, and move them up by 2 pixels. Select the third left sprite, and move it up by 1 pixel, and move right by 1 pixel. Select the third right sprite, move it up by 1 pixel, and left by 1 pixel. And there we go. Now, once you practice this technique a couple of times, you can add variations to it to create a slightly different walk animation for your game. Or you can use this to have a different walk animation for each individual character. You can even expand this to 16 frames or 32 frames. So yeah, go ahead and play with this. And credit where credit is due, I did not come up with this technique. Uh, Can say on Twitter showcased it in one of their tweets. I will link the tweet in the description below and they brought up how something like this could possibly be achieved with a plugin since all we're doing here is adding extra frames by moving the existing def default frames. Anyways, that's all. I'm going to leave with a showcase on what these 8 frame walk animation would look like inside a game. Note that I'm using Gal's character frames plugin.